The Archdiocese of St. Louis is in the listening phase of two projects, the Synod on Synodality and its plan to merge up to 60% of its parishes. Church Milton's Christine Chrisley was in the Gateway City Sunday, and in tonight's in-depth report, she reveals how the Chancery chose to listen to one group, but not another. Each category is gender categories. Clerics and Chancery officials were fully deployed on Sunday to listen to and record the concerns of the LGBT community. I'm yes. already tenured with the Archdiocese Senate team along with Deacon Chris, Joyce Jones, our Chancellor, Nancy Werner, Father Mitch Doyen. We are here in the name of Archbishop Berzanski. He knows we're here. The basement of St. Cronin was at seating capacity with LGBT Catholics and their supporters. Archdiocese Chancellor Nancy Werner encouraged participants to share their concerns. I would just encourage you to be um, open as we have these conversations for the next 45 minutes. And if there are things that you don't think we really got into enough, um, I would encourage you to reach out to one of us. Participants were given information about archdiocesan resources and were invited to join New Ways Ministries, a dissident pro-gay group. 30 minutes later and just down the street, a different group of Catholics were gathering on the steps of the Cathedral Basilica. These Catholics were concerned about all things new. That's the name the Archdiocese is using to promote its restructuring plan, a plan that will dramatically reduce the number of parishes in the once thriving Archdiocese. The gathering was a last resort. Members of St. Louis Resistance, as well as other groups from the area, have been begging to meet with anyone from the Archdiocese, but their letters and phone calls were ignored. The crowd of more than 100 Catholics marched about two blocks from the Cathedral Basilica to the Archbishop's residence. We're here to pray for all of the 187 parishes, not just the mega parishes that might survive after all things came. And that's what they did, praying by name for each parish in the Archdiocese. For Our Lady of the Presentation at St. Louis. St. Louis Catholics have cause to be concerned. They've already put a church for sale here in the Archdiocese of St. Louis up for sale without any canonical decrees that we know of. We've asked them about it. So our worry is that there's very specific reasons when and how you can close a church. It's consecrated in sacred ground. It belongs to the generations of Catholics that built it before us, and it belongs to Holy Mother Church. So if it has to happen, let that be the last thing, the last possibility of closing it, and follow canon law when you do. Noticeably absent from the gathering was any member of the clergy. Not a single priest joined the group to pray for what is to become of the once great archdiocese. Christine Christlieb, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. In 1999, Vatican officials banned the founders of New Ways Ministry from ministering to homosexuals. But Pope Francis recently honored one of the founders, Sister Janine Gramic, and wrote an approving letter to one of the group's current leaders. 